And welcome into Protect and Grow Chicago Land Retirement with Chicago Land Certified Financial Planning Professional Tim Stearns, CFP founder of TJ Stearns Inc. And today on the program, Tim, going to be talking about one of the most important and widely utilized tools for retirement planning, and that is our employer-sponsored plan. There's a few different variations, but most commonly known and referred to as the 401k. A lot of people have saved a lot of money in their 401k, Tim, and, and maybe more need to save even more, but that's where the majority of Americans are saving the majority of their wealth for retirement, and yet still a lot of questions about the 401k, a lot that we don't maybe know enough about. We're going to break it all down today and talk about what the 401k is, what it isn't, the pros, the cons, the benefits, the takeaway. But uh, as we get going here, Tim, any general comment to kind of introduce our topic of the conversation on 401ks today? Well, what we're seeing out there is that, you know, if you are a baby boomer, the first thing you've ever really invested in in your lifetime was the 401k. Uh, in its infancy, that's what they were introduced to. And most of us, our biggest asset besides our houses are IRAs and 401ks. And the 401ks are, you know, the IRAs are former 401ks, if that makes sense. Right. So we're seeing uh, tons of assets that are in there and have never had taxes, you know, pulled from them yet. So these are things that we're working through with our clients. And if you're out there and you've put a lot of money, a lot of money into these 401ks, you've never paid taxes. Uh, we have a really neat report that we can get to, into their hands. Um, www.mvpcfp.com is a website that we have for people to get a, no, uh, there's no obligation or anything like that. But wouldn't you like to know how much retirement's going to actually cost you? Um, you know, besides having a plan, let's know what our taxes are going to be. Uh, you know, you wouldn't go buy a car without knowing that, right? So you're going into the most major purchase of your lifetime, which is retirement. So don't we want to know what the taxes are? Yeah, I had a friend who purchased a certain foreign automaker's automobile, and he thought that the price that he paid for it was reasonable only to find out after the fact how much the service costs were involved and you know just a, a routine oil change was significantly more than it was with other kinds of vehicles or at least anything that has been in my experience so yeah sometimes those those costs add up and and certainly Tim, taxes, 401ks, they go hand in hand. We need to understand the the full implications. We'll get to that certainly but these days, Tim, I'm, I'm, I mean, I know that our real estate, our homes have appreciated in value, but oftentimes the 401k, the retirement savings nest egg, that actually surpasses the value of our home, at least for diligent, proactive savers and investors. This may be our largest asset, even bigger than the value of our home and, and property. So it, it means all that much more to us in retirement. And this generation has done a good job in saving and accumulating more personal net worth than any generation previously. And yet still we seem more confused about, doubtful about, and 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 have questions and concerns about, can we make retirement work? Will our money last? And that is both the pro and the con of the 401k, I think that we need to address. And we will get into it, ladies and gentlemen, on this program with certified financial planning professional, Tim Stearns. I do want to remind you though, that Retirement Tax Bill Calculator, as Tim mentioned, is available online. Go to mvpcfp.com, mvpcfp.com, and, and maybe even more valuable is applying that information and getting your own personal, customized, written retirement plan. It's called the Protect and Grow Plan. It is there, available at TJ Stearns, Inc., and it's what he helps you formulate and put together. It is a written plan for achieving your goals into your financial future. If you would like to get that, no cost, no obligation, give a call 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. 800-640-2256. Or you can also go online, plenty of additional resources and information and education available at tjsterns.com. That's TJ Stearns, like earns, tjsterns.com is the website to, to find out so much more information and and 
podcast library, ladies and gentlemen, on almost any financial topic you can imagine, a, a specific episode dedicated to those topics that you can easily search through and, and, and find information that is pertinent to a question that is on your mind or what you'd like to find out more about. So again, on this episode, examining those 401ks, the retirement plans offered through your employer. How do you make heads or tails of them? Where are they beneficial? Where might they have drawbacks? And, and Tim, I guess let's let's get started that once you do get started in the 401k, one of the main benefits is that it's automatic, it's systematic, it happens kind of on autopilot is, is one of the biggest benefits, right? Well, yes, we, we always talk about this, even with my children, you know, out of sight, out of mind. The money is is going out of out of your pocket before you even know it, and then you get to see the power of of compounding and you know dollar cost averaging, and and next thing you know, you have a nest egg that you're going to be able to retire on. Now, the issue that we've run into with a lot of people is that they don't understand, you know, the tax ramifications. You know, you're kicking the can down the road, right, for your taxes, and that's fine. But and I understand why you'd want to take the deduction now. But there are 401k Roths out there. Uh, you know, 403B Roths, that type of thing, which are excellent uh, right now with the current tax, you know, environment, you know, taxes are on sale. And I just had a, a seminar the other day about that for my continuing education. And, you know, the current tax bill ends at the end of 2025. So there's reasons to be doing Roth conversions. There's reasons to be doing a 401k Roth. So these are the things that we're telling our clients about and, you know, knowing what you're getting yourself involved into is half the battle. And Tim, we as human nature, I feel, have a habit of if we bring money home, it finds a way to get spent. So that automatic contribution into the 401k, it, it almost forces us into a good habit and routine of putting ourselves first, saving a little bit of what we earn, paying ourselves putting it in an envelope and sending it to our future self so that one day it'll be there for us when we do retire. That that automatic nature is is good habit forming for the way that we should be saving. And in fact, if even if we don't have the 401k available to us, Tim, that's probably something that we all should be striving to do, correct? Right. And if you don't have a 401k, give us a call. We'll show you some other options. You know, there's obviously the IRA, there's the Roth IRA if if you if you can do one. Um, there's a lot of great uh, things out there. There's also, you know, cash value life insurance. If you're looking to put some money aside that down the road, you're not going to have to pay taxes on again. Uh, these are the things that we're talking to a lot of our clients about. Uh, you know, if you're sick of paying heavy taxes, there's some great ways to circumvent that. Um, you know, and we've seen the advent of the IRMA, you know, with the Medicare. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that the government's doing to people that ha make too much in retirement and they're not in their eyes. The government says, well, you make too much, so you we're going to tax you some more by making you pay higher prices for Medicare. These are things that we do when we're planning with people. You know, it's never too late to look ahead. Now, Tim, this benefit of being automatic and systematic, that that works because we've got a paycheck yep. that those contributions are drafted off of that actually support the investment, not only the contribution, but the ability of the investments to stay invested and grow over time. How how does making regular deposits into the market and into investment accounts benefit us even sometimes to a greater extent than having a pile of money there already invested? What you're talking about, Peter, is dollar cost averaging. You know, I mean, no matter what you're investing, in, it's 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 a, a forced savings, which I've you know made my children do that, and I tell our clients to do that. Uh, you know, out of sight, out of mind. You're not spending it. It's not just sitting in a bank account, not doing anything for you. Uh, you're also getting a tax deduction right now while you're working. I mean, there's a lot of good reasons to do that, and so and and next thing you know, you again have a nest egg that you're going to be able to retire on. You know, you don't want to be like, you know, a lot of United States, a lot of uh, citizens are have not put aside enough money for retirement. And the last thing you want to do is go to the federal government to help you. And not to mention, Tim, those ongoing contributions very often in 401k get the benefit of that additional match, right? Absolutely. Right. And we in our book, Solving the uh, Modern Retirement Riddle, we, we talk about how if you're getting a match, you cannot not afford to do that. You need to make sure that you're doing these 
uh, the, you know, the max is free money. I mean, who doesn't like free money? And after that, then you need to start thinking about how much money you really want to put away into your 401k because, you know, you might be be damaging yourself uh, for down the road. But that, again, begs the question, you know, do you have a plan? Tim, if there is an optimal order of operations of what should we be doing with our money is making contributions and capturing the match at the top of that pinnacle. Absolutely. Yes, it always is. I mean, free money is free money. And as my father used to say, nothing's better than free, right? So right off the bat, you should be doing that. And then after that, you, you, you business takes care of itself. Yep. Well, I mean, there are other places and options, but I don't think anywhere can offer you that kind of guaranteed immediate return as the match does when you put dollars in. And Tim, we we work the same amount, whether we get that match or not. It's just whether we choose to participate and put some skin in the game to receive that match. Right. I mean, the best thing about that is, you know, the power of compounding. Einstein said it's the eighth wonder of the world, you know, and then you sit back and let it do its thing. And the next thing you know, you know, you're you're building up a substantial uh, wealth for you and your and your spouse, uh, you know, and and down the road your family. If if you you know, it's not like a pension where if something God forbid happens to you and your spouse, it goes away. This is something that you know you can leave to the family. Someone is going to get the benefit of the match that you did and all the deferrals that you've done. So why not take advantage of it? Once again, we are talking with certified financial planning professional Tim Stearns, CFP on A to Z, everything you need to know about your 401k or employer-sponsored retirement plan. What's beneficial? What's a drawback? The pros, the cons, the what you need to know. And if you've got questions about your employer-sponsored plan, your 401k, Tim Stearns uh, welcomes and invites you to look over your options and your plan along with him, the, the help, the experience, the perspective of a qualified, certified financial planning professional, Tim Stearns CFP, happy to look over your 401k options with you. All you need to do is give a call 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256. 800-640-2256. And Tim, you've already touched on the tax perspective a, a couple times here. This is a big part of the 401k and the, the decisions that we make with the 401k. It has always been viewed as something of a benefit, but I, I want to turn this into a question here with you and, and conversation to defer taxes or not to defer taxes. It's not quite that William Shakespeare quote here, but uh, along the same lines, is this a, a to do or not to do? That is the question. Well, it's definitely something you need to look at. You know, um, we have a CPA on staff, so we can answer that for you real easily. But, you know, it is does it make sense to defer right now or doesn't it? Um, you know, as I've said, you know, income taxes are at the lowest they've been in 40 years. So it might be the time to to do the Roth and that type of thing and actually pay the taxes on your money right now. Um, you know, but if you make higher net worth, uh, you know, salaries and that type of thing, you might want to, you know, uh, take the 401k, the, the generic route that you've done all along. These are things that you need to look at, though. Uh, you know, we can run reports for you um, ad nauseum, but I mean, at the end of the day, it, it makes sense to to take a look at it before you make a mistake that you're going to be paying more taxes down the road. And again, that brings me back to our our reports that we can do for people and show them how much you're going to pay over your lifetime. Uh, you know, and you go to www.mvpcfp.com. And on there, you can put in your information and we'll give you a report that there's no obligation but I think it makes sense to see, does it make sense for me to defer this year and next year while under the current Trump tax bill? Or does it you know, make sense to just go back to how I've always done it? But let's know what we're getting into. Again, that website, mvpcfp.com, mvpcfp.com to crunch your numbers. It is your retirement tax bill calculator, ladies and gentlemen, available right there online. Uh, you can see the numbers side by side, black and white, defer, default to the IRS's plan, or take this opportunity 
and our current known tax rates and brackets and, and utilize them and, and, and optimize your retirement scenario by minimizing your tax bill. That's the element of control that we do have. We do not control the tax rates and brackets, not any one of us individually at least, but we can control how we as individuals utilize and place our dollars within them. That is within your control. And now may be the best time ever to take a look at that and, and to control that tax bill and where possible reduce or minimize it. Again, mvpcfp.com, mvpcfp.com. Tim, I've I've heard the term, I've put it, I've I've heard it put as I am saving on taxes when I contribute to the 401k. Maybe that's not the truly most accurate reflective word of what we are doing, it is deferring on taxes, right? I am deferring taxes when I put money into my 401k. Does deferring equal saving? Well, that's a good question. I mean, I I think it, it's a case-by-case situation, right? But deferring it right now under the current tax bill, probably not. You're probably kicking the can down the street when you shouldn't be. But, you know, there are opportunities there and on both sides. So, what I would tell people if they're looking to, uh, you know, get take a hold of of their retirement, do a plan and figure out does it make sense to do a Roth or does it make sense to do a four hundred one k Roth? You know, what I mean, it, it, there's there's two different options there. I, I feel like Tim, we could do shows on the intricacies, the different elements of four hundred one ks for weeks on end. Yeah. So in the in the name and sake of time, a couple opportunities that we have to take control over four hundred one k funds. Because remember, if you work for a company, technically you are a participant in their plan. You are not the owner of the plan. You are not the owner of the 401k. You are a participant in their 401k. So there are opportunities and and, and there is reason to take control. Tim, those opportunities, uh, two of them specifically, if you have older 401ks left behind, if you've left a job or if you've reached this milestone of 59 and a half. And I think people know half of the 59 and a half story. They may not know the second what might possibly be the more important half of 59 and a half. Well, you know, most people who work for a company, you're beholden to whatever they're offering you, right? But here's the good news. Many companies, I'd say over 95% of them, will allow an in-service distribution. Not because you had a hardship or disabled or anything like that, but because you've reached the age of 59 and a half, you're able to take the money out, put it into an IRA of your choosing, and then you can you know, do a, um, your own IRA, or you can have it go to an advisor. Uh, many, most of our clients, they get to a threshold of five to $10,000 and they move it over to us so that we can have active money management with stop losses or hedging or what have you. But I mean, at the end of the day, you can kind of be in charge of your own future ver- versus, you know, being in these, uh, funds that they offer you that are, you know, not really outside of the box. Right. Um, you know, target date funds are great. They really are. If you're under 59 and a half, I would urge everyone to do that. But if you're over 59 and a half, I would tell you to take a look at the o- option if you have it to do an in service distribution. We're happy to help people do a three way phone call with their provider and figure that out. Tim, I've heard that making contributions to a 401k is like using cruise control in your automobile, but those target date funds can be, especially at, at certain points in time, they may be very appropriate at certain points in time, but but as we get closer to 59 and a half or certainly on the precipice of retirement, it's not only like putting the car on cruise control, but then hopping in the back seat and sort of taking a nap. Right. I. I agree with that. I mean, if you look at like the Vanguard 2015 fund in 2022, so I've been retired seven years in theory, right? It lost over 15%. That's that's daunting. You know, you can't have that. So they're not a silver bullet for retirement. It's not going to lose you less money. It's they still lose. All they do is they shore up and rebalance for you. So that's that's not that impressive. Well, I think that may be one of the biggest takeaways from our conversation today, Tim, is that 401ks are specifically designed and engineered to help us build toward retirement. But once we get to retirement, are not necessarily built nor engineered for the needs that we have on that day or or moving forward. Well, and I agree with you. I don't think there's really a 
you know, what's the withdrawal rate that you use? You know, where are you going to take money from first? You take it from your 401k. What are you paying in fees? Try to nail that down at your company right now. What you're paying in 401k fees. Good luck with that. I've heard reports where the average is over 2%. You know, and they'll say, someone will say to us, oh, well, I at Vanguard, our XYZ company, it doesn't matter who it is. I'm only paying X, you know, X uh, basis points or whatever you want to call it. But when they look at it, I just had a gentleman in the other day who said, the net asset value that I'm buying in at, at Fidelity was not the same as what it was online, mm. which makes sense that there are the, the pennies add up, my friends, and you need to make sure that you're figuring out what you're really paying. If you move it over to your own IRA or with us, you know, full disclosure, you're going to know exactly what that is. And and there there are limited options, right? None of these financial institutions are nonprofits, by the way. That's not the way that they got to where they are today. But they, there's hidden cost fees, expenses, as you noted, Tim. There's risk inside of those 401k options. And a lot of times, a very limited set menu of options that we have available to choose from. So all of those things compounding uh, and adding on top of each other means that maybe we should examine alternative options at certain points in time. Again, 401k and the options there might be fantastic to get us toward retirement, build and grow and, and accumulate over time as long as the money's going in. But once the, the account balance is no longer being added to, no more dollar cost averaging, and, and certainly once we have a need for income, Tim, 401k is actually maybe detrimental to our ability to rely on consistent income and and lower confidence into and throughout retirement. I, I agree with that. And I and the you know we don't really know what the fees are, right? So I put it best to a gentleman the other day. We called Fidelity at 7 30 at night and we got someone who's specifically for his company. And I said, do you think that person's volunteering to help you? Meaning, you know, they're getting paid to be on the phone with you, they're definitely making more than what you think you're getting charged. So there's a lot of different fees that go in there. Um, you know, and what we could do is show you, well, there's a lot of fees and what are you getting for it? What is the performance like? Why not take a hold of your own future and, and move the money out? Back to the benefits side of the ledger, uh, 401ks allow a good amount to be saved per year. If you're younger than 50 this year, up to $23,000. If you're 50 or above, an additional catch-up provision is what it's called, 7500 So you could save $30,500 plus whatever match your company offers. And when you throw in the match and profit share or safe harbor, Tim, it's potentially uh, up to $69,000 that could get into certain defined contribution plans. That's a good chunk of money. Um, we talked a little bit about the fees. We haven't talked about the loans, but let's just say, Tim, don't do it, right? Taking a loan from, from a 401k should not be the primary option. In fact, maybe an option of last resort. Uh, your 401k should not be a piggy bank. No, it should not. I mean, you're borrowing from your future, you know, and I, well, I've heard every, mis, you know, uh, reason for this, you know, oh my gosh, I gotta, you know, my, I gotta borrow money to so-and-so, or I need the money for this. If you're, if you can try not to do that, you know, it's the last resort, as you said, you know, you want to make sure that you're not borrowing from your future to retire and think about that. You know, it takes you over five years in most cases to pay the money back and that money's not really doing much for you in those five years. Uh, luckily, most of the company's only limited to like $50,000. So you're not taking out the lion's share of your money. But still, you know, think about it. That's money that you could get retired quicker. Figure out a different way or, you know, have a, have a budget. Give us a call and we can figure out. There's so many different ways to get, you know, to, uh, to skin a cat, as they say. And Tim, on the 401k statements, I have actually seen where they project out how much retirement income you'll have. Yeah. A lot of people don't understand that if you read behind the scenes into the fine print of that, that often includes what I feel are overly generous, optimistic assumptions for growth on the account, as well as oftentimes 
also includes income from outside of the 401k itself may also include what your social security is is projected to be so not a dependable source of income not only not in the numbers shown on that statement tim but this is one of the big reasons why 401ks for all of their benefits have some drawbacks is that people are relying on them for income they are specifically not geared for retirement income for numerous reasons well, to, to the, the major point you just made is that they show people this pie in the sky number that they're supposed to be getting. And that's saying that you're going to make six or eight percent on the market per year. You know, it only takes a year like 2022 where the market was down on average. The portfolios we've seen come in here 20 percent and that derails that whole premise. So that's not a thing. And then to your point, also, they said, uh, you know, that a lot of times there's Social Security is involved in there. And they're thinking this is, uh, you know, more money on top of more money. And, and, and it gets lost in the translation there that you really are, are limiting yourself by sustaining with a 401k that's going to say that you're going to make six to eight percent. Good luck with that. Yeah. Well, again, we are talking with certified financial planning professional, Tim Stearns, author of the book, Solving the Modern Retirement Riddle, and certainly the 401k, part of that retirement riddle, ladies and gentlemen. There are a lot of questions. There's a lot of unknown. There's there's low to no education on 401ks oftentimes at the workplace. And, and these are all reasons why when you have the option to consult a professional, to take control, to, to maybe better position and take ownership of that 401k for your retirement, that is an opportunity not to overlook. The, the 401ks are, are designed for growth and accumulation, but they are subject to market volatility. You can lose money at the worst potential time. They are subject to dollar cost ravaging. If, if you do pull money out, not only that, the mandatory tax withholding, you don't have any discretion over that, plus a potential 10% penalty if it's before 59 and a half. So don't do that subject to sequence risk, subject to taxation, fees, withdrawal rate risk, and, and legislative risk. Tim, the government's proven they can change the rules on these things. So many questions, complex issues that you need to understand to make the most of this valuable tool, ladies and gentlemen. And Tim, you're here to show people what they need to know and, and how to make the most of all the tools that they have available. I think we all want to retire. So how to guess best get there, we need to figure that out. One of the biggest tools in that is your 401k. And it can be used, you know, uh, effectively, or it can be misused. And how are you going to do that? And where are you going to take it out of? You know, my parents always taught me about accumulation, you know, save, save, save for that rainy day. But we've never to this minute, my mom's 94 years old, talked about a safe withdrawal rate. You know, how are we going to get there? You know, um, that's the important stuff that we go through with people to affect, you know, get through an ideal retirement. You have one shot at it. Bottom line, 401k, a, a fantastic and important tool, but not a plan. At TJ Stearns, Inc., certified financial planning professional, Tim Stearns, CFP, and the team will help you put together a plan. That is the big offer at TJ Stearns. They help savers and investors better determine your financial and retirement outcome, ladies and gentlemen. Make your goals your realities through formulating the Protect and Grow Written Retirement Income Plan. Also, they do have copies of that book, Solving the Modern Retirement Riddle. So if you'd like to get your plan put together and a copy of that book. Just be one of the first 10 callers to today's program, 800-640-2256. That's 800-640-2256, 800-640-2256. And visit the website, mvpcfp.com because we've got 2024 and 2025. Taxes change in 2026. They are not going down. Slated law already on the books. Taxes will be going up. So now's the time to, to take a look at that retirement tax bill calculator, which is why Tim Stearns made it available. Put it out there at mvpcfp.com. Tim, a, a lot to pack in. And again, I think we could do a series of, of, of programs for weeks on this topic, but thank you for addressing that largest tool that many of us have for retirement before a 1k. My pleasure, Peter. I look forward to helping everybody. Tune into Chicagoland Certified Financial Planner Tim Stearns' full radio program and visit tjstearns.com for many valuable resources, including other great episodes of Chicagoland Retirement. Be sure to subscribe.
Investment advisory services offered through Cornerstone Securities, LLC. The information presented on this program is provided for informational purposes only without warranty of accuracy, completeness, or suitability for particular purpose. This program is not intended to be and does not constitute financial investment, legal, or tax advice. This information is general in nature, not specific enough to be construed as advice. You should not make any decision based on the information presented on this program without independent consultation with an appropriately licensed professional or competent advisor. Investment in securities or the market involves a potential risk for loss of principal. Trading, therefore, may not be suitable for all listeners. Annuity guarantees are based solely on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing company. Withdrawals of growth from annuities may be taxable as ordinary income in the year it is taken. Individuals should review contracts for specific details of the product's features and costs.